Zhu here from iThrow headquarters. Today I'm going to show you how to use the iThrow Illyrian oximeter. This oximeter is compatible with all headsets on the market. First I'll put it together and show you how to use it with the ear cup type headset and then I'll show you how to use it with the in-ear type headsets. It's important that you understand and make sure you know how uh, the Illyrian works before you take it in flight so that you aren't learning on the fly in flight. Okay, we'll start with the ear cup type headset. Well, in, in this case, we're using a Bose here for demonstration. So this is the Illyrian sensor oximeter. You want to take it out and we're going to put it in position. So this is the boom here on the, the headset and you would like to put it um, around this area where you've got some extra support for holding the Illyrian in place. Um, we've got these ties here. I'd like to use one. You can save the other one if you need to reposition. It's reusable, but they are quite strong when they stick to themselves. Um, so make sure you kind of know where you want to put it. So this is the position I want. I'm going to wrap this around. Secure it. Okay, and then I'm going to use this clip to hold the wires a little bit more snug in place. Okay, and we are ready to go. This end of the Illyrian will go into your charger bank we provide for you right here. You turn it on, clicking it one time. It does have a flashlight as well. Okay, you'll see that the layering comes on, the sensor comes on. And at this point, you can also open up the app, go to pulse oximetry. You can see that it's pairing. And then as soon as you put it on, uh, it's going to indicate to you that it's getting samples and processing the samples, and then it'll start. Um, displaying them. Um, it will also show on your watch. The top panel here, you can see it's zero right now because we don't have our headset on. Okay, so as we put this on, you want to make sure that the sensor, if you're wearing it on the left or the right, is kind of right in this area of your cheek, right in front of the earlobe or right here. That's where you want to make sure that the sensor goes. Okay, we're set up for the left side here. So I'm going to put it on. Again, I'm going to make sure that it's right in this area and make sure that the ear cup pinches it down. Okay, so just a note, um, you can uh, actually put some adhesive double-sided sticky on the back of this if you don't mind doing that. Some people don't want to use tape on their um, headset ear cup if you don't mind and you found the perfect position you can do that otherwise you don't need to um, but you can do that so um, on the screen you'll see there'll be a couple versions of um, processing the data uh, on the screen but once you've got it in position it will um, start giving you the numbers now here you can change your name Okay, so you know who's who. That helps you when you get more passengers uh, down the line if you choose to. But you can see the data starting to come in. Sample quality down here and right here tells you if it's high or low. So this is um, something that you want to play around with and make sure that you're getting the highest possible sample quality. That might mean you have to reposition, make sure that it's um, not moving. Uh, if you happen to have uh, just not very good readings, which actually happens to me, um, maybe because it's an anatomical thing, um, we find that also with kids it can be an issue as well. Um, if you just can't get it to work on, on the ear cup, on the cheek, then you can try the forehead, which I'm going to show you, and you'll see the difference. So I know that here at altitude we're about 6,000 feet here, so I should be like 96 to 98% SpO2, and this is obviously showing me quite low, and the sampling rate for me is jumping up and down. 
So um, I would move it to the right side and test it out a couple different places. And if it's not going to work, we're going to try the forehead and you can see the difference on it. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use the Illyrian um, with the bandana, uh, with the in-ear headsets, which I'm going to simulate with these. Um, and then the bandana, bandana, if you're not getting great readings, um, not a great sampling. So there's no particularly graceful way to do it, but you basically want to start either side of the ear, go behind the ear, kind of get it in the forehead region, and then you want to put the bandana over it just to hold it in place. Make sure it's comfortable. And that the bandana covers it so that there's no extra light coming in, so you get better readings. Okay, we'll make sure that this is paired up. And watch the data come in. So while that's coming in, you can see that this is not going to get in the way of your in-ear headset. No problem. Okay, here's the numbers coming in. So we've got the SpO2 heart rate, and now you can see the difference in my sample quality. It's very, very high. Um, I'm almost at 100% um, for the whole time as it's sampling, which is really great for me because I have very low sampling on my cheek. Um, and you'll find that sometimes women, or if you have a big beard or lots of hair or kids, um, you may have to use this as an alternative to get really good readings. But this is looking really good. This is what I would expect. We're at about 6,000 elevation here. So I would expect uh, about 97%, maybe 96 for my SpO2 reading. So that's looking really good. And again, you can use it with your headset if you're having problems with getting high quality readings. And you can use it in flight. So hopefully that gives you some ideas and some instruction on how to set this up. And you can find us at www.ithraaviation.com. Thank you, thanks for watching.